we're going to take a look at a demo of attribute-based access controls in Unity Catalog. This is going to help me to scale out my governance practice over hundreds of thousands of assets that I might have in my lakehouse, while simplifying authoring those access policies and ongoing maintenance of them, and making sure that I have guardrails that my consumers use data in a safe way. So let's go ahead and have a look. So you can see in this example, I'm querying this particular table called customers, and there's actually PII exposed in this table. So how can I go about locking this down? So the first thing I'm gonna go and do is go and visit my catalog, and I'm gonna create a new policy. All I need to do is fill out this particular form, choose who the policy should apply to, and I'm gonna choose to apply it to all of my account users. And I'm gonna ask it to mask column data where columns have a particular tag. I created a tag earlier called my name tag. Next, I just have to configure the exact masking logic I want the policy to apply. I can choose something simple like mask with asterisks, or I could ask the AI to actually go ahead and do some more complicated logic. I'm just gonna stick with the simple case for now. So let's go ahead and create that policy. All I need to do now is make sure that my data is appropriately tagged. So this was the table that I was looking at earlier. I'm gonna add the same tag that we just referenced in my AVAP policy, my name tag, to the column called name. Now, when I go ahead and query my data set, I see masked values returned. But you might be thinking, does this require me to manually tag all of my tables? Well, that's where data classification comes in. I'm actually able to go ahead and automatically enable uh, automatic detection of PII on my catalog. So I can go ahead and open my catalog here um, and I can choose to enable automatically automatic data classification. And once that scans, it produces results like this, which shows me all of the occurrences of PI across my catalog. So in this case, it detected email, um, and I can go ahead and review this and see where email was found in my tables. And the great thing is it automatically applies this tag so that ABAC will seamlessly protect this data. So what did we just see? Well, step one, we saw uh, me manually tagging the data and then scaling that out using the data classification technology. Step two, we saw authoring an ABAC policy, which is designed to automatically protect the data that's been tagged. And then step three, we saw an end user querying the data and it returned in mass values.